This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 K I S W The Rock of Seattle. Biz Marquis, the legendary New York rapper and DJ, best known for uh, his 1989 hit Just a Friend, died Friday evening after a battle with complications from diabetes. Yeah, I heard, I mean, I, 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 it was, I heard it like a few months ago it was, he was struggling. And I, for some reason in my head, I think I was just scared that he already did pass. So it's kind of like, you know, life just happens and you just kind of lose sight of what's going on in the world. And then when I saw that again, I'm like, wait, didn't we just, it's like, this is a deja vu thing again. But apparently like he was fighting it and sadly wasn't able to fight anymore. But what a bummer, man. Like Bismarck, he was like a huge part of my youth growing up. Like that was a guy like totally, even if you didn't like hip hop, there's a few hip hop artists that even if you didn't like hip hop, you like that song. Yeah. Like baby got back. Sir makes a lot. I would put in that list. And, and definitely, you got what I need. You know, just a friend song. That that I mean, and plus we could all rap it because it is terribly rapped. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's I mean why that, it was awesome, right? I mean that in a, as a, a compliment. It was just like so bad that it was great. Yeah, he was fifty-seven years old. That's way too young. Um, and you know what, Steve? A lot of people, you know, they they refer to him as the clown prince of hip hop because he was very lighthearted. He had an irreverent musical style and, and persona. The music so, yeah. videos were awesome. Yeah, it's 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 a guy that, like you said, it's just very likable no matter what what you think of the genre. Danny, do you uh, remember the song? I'm trying to see. If oh like, yeah, like Vicky. See, I do think it's like a song that transcends See, yeah. even no matter what generation. They have it yeah. all the time at karaoke bars. Like, oh, I feel like it's yeah. one of the top songs you're bound to lis- listen to at some point in the night. Because if you're drunk and you're a bad singer, you could still do that song. Oh, and absolutely. That yeah. one is one of those songs that, like, the second it comes on, like, everyone starts singing along. It yeah. just, it brings the whole place together. And I knew the song. I just, I don't think I knew who the artist was. Oh. So if you would have said, like, Bismarck, yeah, I would have been like, I don't know. No idea. Is. But then you would have sang the song and I'd be like, oh, I, I know that. Yeah. Do you have a clip of the song? That'd be kind of cool to hear. Yeah, we do. You, you got what I need. But yeah. you say he's just a friend. Yeah, a whole karaoke <laughs> bars. Of oh, course yeah, sing absolutely. That. <laughs> and it spoke to all of us guys that could never get any action with the ladies. I'm like, yep, yeah, just another, just your friend. Yeah. Cool. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. That's, I mean, yeah. Friend zone. Being and your friend's right. cool. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> and, and, and when you, when you, when you listen to it, you're like, yeah, how did, how did that get on the radio? You and know, it was a of, massive hit. Yeah. And it was just like, it's, it, he sounds like he can't sing. The video too. You're just like, you, I remember watching it on MTV. I'm like, this is terrible, but I love it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It was so great. Yeah, it, you just talk about uh, all of the right, all of the wrong things in the right place. <laughs> it, it's the charm too. I think yeah. it has everything to do with like. I mean, someone else could have done that, and it would have never. Like people would just been like, "What are you doing? Throw this in the trash!" But like he had that aura to him that was just like, okay, very lovable. So you didn't even care how he sounded because he just gave off this like lovable vibe. 
And we're talking about Biz Marquis, uh, who unfortunately passed away uh, losing on Friday evening, losing his battle with complications from diabetes. Uh, 57 years old, uh, we, we lost Biz Marquis on Friday. So his name's also famous for the song Picking Boogers, which I don't know that one. I don't know that one either. But then again, I don't know any other Biz Marquis songs. Like, that was the one. And yeah. then after that, I didn't really pay attention. I wasn't like a... It, you know, I wasn't the biggest hip hop fan. I like some songs, but that was not like a guy I was like listening to a lot of. Okay, so do do we have access to picking boogers at all? Well, I, got, I could <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> all right, there, yeah. <laughs> Rev, did you find it? I'm looking. Here we go. Oh boy. Okay. Hopefully, it doesn't have bad words in it. I got my finger on the dump button. All right, here I we th- go. I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think he curses at times. <laughs> I'm very upset and very glad there is not a music video to accompany it. We can make one. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, I I right now, what? Yeah. I can't imagine being in the studio like, hey, so what are we working on today, Biz? Yeah. I got this new song. I think it's going to be a hit. What's it called? Picking Boogers. I really feel like it's like I'm watching an episode of Dave. <laughs> it's just like you know it's like that would be a dave conversation yeah we should we we, we should make this we should do this and he also like, i forgot about this he also covered uh benny and the jets with uh, i think it was done with the beastie boys i think the beastie boys played the music oh and, and miss marquee did the elton john singing quote oh, unquote. Yeah. Yeah. and it's not i remember hearing this also and again going yeah so the producer was okay with this huh yeah yeah well, there you go. Uh, but you know what? He's put a smile on everybody's faces. And uh, like Vicky said, it's a, it's a karaoke favorite. So, I mean, the, this is a guy who will always be remembered because, you know, his music, you know, his song lives on. And yep. His, you know, and, and, you know that's, that's, that's cool. Boogers. Yeah. <laughs> but now I didn't know about picking boogers, but now you know what? All right. That's in, that's in my life now. It's a summer jam to bring us all together. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the friend song is going to be a song that I'll be forever listened to. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And you're right, Steve. I mean, there's always somebody who just doesn't have game. That song speaks to them, you know, where they're in the friend zone. Oh, yeah. And I think yeah. that was like, the first time where I think as a kid, like you're just like, as a teen, even in college, too, you're just like, yep, this is speaking just to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what zone I'm in. Picking boogers, too. Zone. Speaking to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> that probably is why I was in the friend zone, Steve. <laughs> we have a man that may be facing multiple felony charges, all. Because of his love for candles. Steve will tell you all about this. He's got the mix report for you at 619 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID 19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember it didn't happen by chance, it's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Make your kitchen ready for every summer gathering this Memorial Day with LG and Lowe's. Our exclusive InstaView appliance suite includes ranges with air fry, refrigerators with slow melt and craft ice, and an exclusive dishwasher you can only find at Lowe's. Plus, you'll get up to 10% back via a MasterCard prepaid card when you bundle eligible LG products via rebate. Shop Memorial Day savings at Lowe's. Offer valid 3 3 through 5 18 on select LG items only. See Lowe's.com slash rebates for details and timing. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Kia Up You Out for giving us the Migs Report. Today is the day where, you know what, I'm just going to do it, and you have to guess what I, what today's day is, okay? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. 
<laughs> I look forward to BJ's reaction when I do this. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, okay great. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it goat day? Snake day? No, no. Snake day. I don't know. Tongue day? Rev? Close. What did oh. Rev say? Tongue day? Oh. Ooh, uh, tongue kissing day? No. Mouth day? No. Oh. Uh, National say ah day. National stick out your tongue day. Oh. Very simple. Okay, okay. Uh, I was almost there, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe you still got your tongue to lick some sweet raspberry cake because it's also raspberry cake day, which I've oh. never had a raspberry Ooh. cake. Yeah. Oh, well, it's time. Today's the day. Today's have, the day. Have you had one? I don't think so. I didn't I mean, even maybe, know that existed. Yeah. I feel like... Yeah, oh, my I, gosh. I, it looks incredible. Oh, you see that cake? Ooh. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, well. Google raspberry cake and you will be hungry. <laughs> you know, I've had strawberry cake, so I, I, you know, I've had so many different sweets over my life. I bet I have had raspberry Probably, cake. I must right? have. Yeah. I'm positive I have it, but I would like to try one. <laughs> yeah. Bring it. Not the tongue part. Well, like raspberry. I got well, you. Well, you got to yeah, use yeah, your yeah. tongue, right? Yes. Here, here's a big question. Do you like raspberries? I do. Oh, okay, good. Well, yeah. then you should try some. <laughs> I pretty much have no issues with any berries when I think about it. I love all berries. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> Walked right in on that one. <laughs> I was talking about a guy who walked right into a Bath and Body Works and decided, you know what? I'm going to steal a bunch of candles. And this happened in Miami on Saturday afternoon. So he started throwing a bunch of candles into his bag when people started noticing, like, hey, hey, dude, what the hell are you doing stealing all these candles? I don't know if he's like a candle aficionado or if he has like a, an Etsy shop where he sells these candles. I don't know what the plan was for the candles, but he apparently wanted these candles so bad that he started spraying everybody in the face with bear mace. Oh, oh wow. Everybody. Whoa. He sprayed about 35 people, including the store manager, a bunch oh, of staff members. Wow. Also, a bunch of people that were just customers there. He ran out of the mall, hopped into a taxi, and then just drove off. One hospital, one victim had to go to the hospital. Everyone's going to be okay from it. But obviously, that's not how you want to start your day, getting sprayed in the face with mace over a dude that loves candles. That's a very strange sentence to throw out there. Wow, that sucks. But how about because of what he did, he could face it when, when, if, you know, when, whenever they catch him. He's going to be facing a bunch of armed robbery and aggravated battery charges, which could be 30 to 35 felonies. Wow. One of those candles that bad. No word yeah. on which candles he took. I'd imagine like Apple Orchard. and Oh, you think Apple Orchard's good? That's a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it that's Japanese right. Cherry Blossom? I don't know if I've oh, had that. Oh, is that a good one, too? Yep, that's I a wouldn't really good one. I would Urban Dictionary that, though. No, no. but that is the popular <laughs> one at uh, Bath and Body Works. Since, it is like, on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> This guy, he was being arrested because he was driving a stolen Kawasaki mo motorcycle when the, the police noticed and this happened in Iowa City. So they also noticed that he seemed a little off because he said, hey, a fellow meth user loaned me the vehicle. Oh, like, okay. Well, all right then. He ad admitted to taking meth five hours earlier. He had a bunch of syringe caps in his pockets. And even though he agreed to take a breathalyzer test, he had zero percent blood alcohol content, so he wasn't high from the alcohol. He refused all field sobriety tests, and then they noticed that he was Googling, how long does meth stay in your system after oh. initial consumption? Well, there you go. Because that's what you do. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> While being detained, let's Google the thing that I'm doing wrong. Oh, Cops won't notice that at all. No. Hey, Mariners won. They ended up winning the series against the Angels. They won Woo! seven to four. Look at like six games over 500, BJ. Hey, it's, it's happening. It's I, happening. It's not happening for the Sounders. It's time to just give up on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They finally lost their first game of the season to Minnesota United. And Danny said that wasn't actually a big surprise. No, we have seven people out on the injured list, plus two people out on international duty. So we're kind of using our B team right now. And it's like, eh, kind of, kind of to be expected. Well, great, because we have a couple games coming up this week, right? Hooray! It's going to be nice. So we might have a couple more losses after this week there, yeah, BJ. It's, it, you know, it is very, very interesting, you know, how it all works, where you, where you lose players because they're loaned out for other reasons, and you go, okay, we're not, we, obviously we are not the premier soccer league if they're, if, if you know, because you don't see that in other sports right. where they go, all right, we're going to take somebody, but they, if they do if you're a minor league situation. We're not the pinnacle for the players. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, good luck, Sounders. Hopefully things get better. But right now it's all about the Kraken. This is a big week. Glad yes. to see everybody's wearing their Kraken shirts today. BJ on me only. Yeah, I know. I thought Red's going to go buy some. Red's got a beanie. I got a beanie. Oh, Joe's got his shirt on. All right, Danny's Joe. got a tattoo, so I guess that counts. Yeah. <laughs> I wore mine to sleep last night and then spilled stuff all over it. So I had to what take it off. What did you on it? Coffee. 
Where you go to bed with coffee? No, in the morning. I was oh. wearing it. I went to sleep in it. Got up. I was like, cool, I'm going to wear this today. And then... Wait, you're going to wear what you went to bed in? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Especially if that's I shower at night. No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I that. no. that's just me. That's totally just you. Yeah. You know, you sweat at night, Vicky. I mean, not, that's not a, that bad. And I have yes. the cooling blankets. Plus, no, doesn't it get all wrinkled up? No, it's a t-shirt. Yeah, so my t-shirts t-shirt. get wrinkled. Well, yeah. Even if you have a cooling blanket, you do sweat at night. That's a thing. That's you know, science. Of all the things you shared science? with us, that might be the weirdest thing, I think, in my eyes that really? you do. Is that you would <laughs> yeah. come to work wearing the same thing you went to bed in. That's yeah, especially if yes. I showered. No, I went I, to I, bed clean. I'm not it's, questioning I still your, feel I'm, clean. I'm not questioning your cleanliness. I just think it's weird. I still feel like you're questioning my cleanliness. <laughs> I feel well, like you gotta uh, set yeah. out your outfit for you know, and then you put it on the next morning. Yeah, you have you have your pajamas and then you take them off and put on the uh, the other outfit. I usually wear, you know, like the shirt if I don't shower at night, I shower in the morning, whatever shirt I was wearing during the day is what I'll go to sleep in. I can't I can't. Yeah, I, 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 oh, I, wow, that's just I don't feel like I'm the only one. This. <laughs> I, I feel like wow. that's good. I, maybe, maybe there'll be a couple people that will text in to say the same thing. But all right, hey, look, I'm saving water, man. That's all I care about. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing all laundry right. as much as everyone else. No, these are the lamest excuses ever. You can wear the same pajamas and save water. Like if you have whatever, whatever you call a pajama. Why do I have to wear two different things? It's not. You You could just wear the same thing to go to sleep in is all I'm saying. Sleep in yeah, the same thing. That's what I did. I went to sleep in it, and then I got up, and I No, you don't wear water. it to work. You wear it just to sleep. Look, we're not going to be able to crack no. through this, Shelby and BJ. Yeah, this, I think we, yeah, we got accept. a text saying that they're with me. Ha ha. I, I see no text. Oh, there's one. There's okay. one. Yeah, so and far, give it a minute. And they also said, P.S., what's your OnlyFans? So they're clearly <laughs> looking for a discount. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the crack and big right. day yeah, coming yeah. up on Wednesday as we have the, the expansion draft. And over the weekend, all the teams had to announce which players they're protecting and yes. which players they're not protecting. And B.J., I am so glad they, they ended up not hiring me as their general manager. This seems like it's going to be the most stressful thing to put together. I mean, you're starting from scratch. You've got right now. You've spent zero dollars in your your salary cap, and you can go up to eighty one million, I believe, is the cap. You have to spend at least like forty something million. So they've got plenty of room to work with. There, there seems to be a theme of if this guy can stay healthy, he'll be an incredible grab for yeah. a lot of the players. There's a lot of really good players that you're like, oh, you know, goalies like Ben Bishop that came out like all of a sudden are going to be available. Like there's certain players that you're like older players that you're like this would be a great guy. I, this is going to be tough around Francis because do you go the route of grabbing a lot of younger guys? But yeah, I mean, you, you can't deny that there's some really good options out there that are like some seasoned vets that would be great for the identity of this team. I think the big talk right now, though, is that uh, the Montreal Canadiens did not protect, protect Carey Price, who's like, wow, top five best goalies out there. I mean, he's truly one of the best goalies in the league. The problem is is he's also the most expensive goalie in the league. He's a $10 million cap hit, so there's a lot of people like, uh, my opinion, and I'm, granted, I'm not Ron Francis, and it's probably a good reason why I'm not, because I think sometimes maybe too emotionally, but I'm like, you don't pass up on a chance to have a guy like him, and you can work around the rest of your team with that contract. Like, it's not as if, like, you're already stuck with a bunch of people wasting your money. And, you know I mean? Like, you have a brand new team where you can kind of figure it all out. You get the goalie and then make everything else work around that. But that's just me. There's there's a lot of good goalies that are available and there's a lot of arguments for other goalies. There's also the talks that they're going to be grabbing from Florida. This guy by the name of Chris Dreger, who's a good goalie, but... I mean, he could be a good backup for Carey Price. Like, you have to grab three goalies during this draft, so it's not wow. like as if like they're they're they can only grab one. Well, they only need two goalies. Remember, you're on the team. I'm the backup to the backup to the backup. BJ, you need three. Oh, so you all right? So you're yeah. the fourth deep. Okay. Right. I've already all agreed. Right. We're all fine. You know, the donkeys right. were willing to let me go. It's, all right, it's, fair it's a tough call. There's another guy by the name of Vladimir Tarasenko who's just an incredible player. He's had some. He's one of those. If he could just stay healthy, because he had a couple shoulder injuries, but apparently everything's good on him, and he's just not happy and. St. Louis, and they didn't protect him. Carey Price, also, there's rumors that he might have to go in for surgery on his knee. Uh, that That's also another part where people are like, eh. Still, here's a guy who took a, a decent team to the Stanley Cup Finals. I just... Yeah. I don't know. I don't, right. know if you, I don't know if you pass up on a guy like that, but that's just... That's just me. You're right. It's a good thing you're not Ron Francis. That's a t- These are tough calls. Plus, my favorite hockey player is available, and that's P.K. Subban. But, you know, he's getting a little bit older. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if I was up to me, I'd grab him anyway. 
Like, again, the, I'd be the worst general manager. Yeah, it's really good that you're not Ron Francis. There's just a lot of players that are just kind of surprising, though. But it, it should be interesting to watch how this is going to unfold. Uh, and obviously, a lot of these players, too, they might just pick up and then trade them to a different team. There's also talks that they've already had, like, they're already working deals with certain teams. Like, some people believe that there's already an agreement with the Montreal Canadiens to not take Harry Price. But wouldn't ah. it be awesome if they just say, F you, Montreal, we're taking him anyway? Oh, I wonder what kind of deal they get with Montreal. Like, okay, well, what are you going to do for us if we don't take him? It's, dude, it's nuts. It's, it's going to be, I wish I could be a fly on the wall behind the scenes because I bet that's a pretty fascinating thing. But also, yeah. I'd imagine Ron Francis probably needs to put his phone on Do Not Disturb after a while because I got to imagine he's getting blown up left and right as the general manager of the Seattle Kraken. But come Wednesday, wow. we're going to find out what kind of team we're going to have. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it'll be shown, the, the draft will be shown on ESPN2 uh, at 5 p.m. You can watch. I think they're going to start like their festivities at like 3 or something like that. So lots of cool stuff going on with that. As far as weather, 79 degrees. It's going to be a nice day today. That's the major report, and that's what's up. Nice. But yeah, dude, if I, we could have a playoff contender instantly. There's a lot of good players that are available, BJ. Oh, yeah. This, uh, dude, this, now you're getting all the hype going. Uh, I, know. I know. I know. And, uh, you know, you feel like you feel like what they want to do is they want to be able to have, uh, you know, obviously some younger players, no doubt about it. Yep. But then you do need some old, you do need some veterans to be able to really, you know, to mentor them because you want them to be great and know how to be good leaders. That's what those older players are good for. Dude, there's a guy, the Flames, are Giordano, who's their captain. I mean, he's older, but he's a really good player. And it's just crazy that they're letting him go. You know, I mean, they'd be willing to let him go unless they've worked a deal with the Kraken as well. Like, there's, for each position you can probably find a good vet that will be there that would be great to kind of help nurture like the younger players so i think yeah. we're in good hands i hadn't thought about really the strategy of who you don't protect because well they're making a lot of money and it's almost like you are protecting them because their their salary is protecting them yep yep i mean there's a lot of players like that where it's like yeah have fun trying to take on this contract i mean some believe that's a big part of the carry price one because there was rumors that Seattle was going to grab their other goalie, and he's a younger goalie, Jake Allen, that the Canadians didn't want to lose. So that's part of it. Like Carey Price said, hey, I'll, I'll remove my no-trade clause, my no-movement clause, so that you can protect Jake Allen. And then ah. Carey Price, though, on top of it, he, he's from Vancouver, or he's from British Columbia. Uh, he spends a lot of time here in, in Washington because his wife is from Washington, I believe, Kennewick. He played for the Tri-Cities American. So I think there, if there was a team he'd be willing to leave Montreal for, it would be Seattle because the Northwest is kind of its home base. So, yeah, he wins he, he, he wins any way he wins. You know, it's like he stays and makes his money or he comes here and makes his money. And becomes the face of this franchise. Yeah, there is something to be said about that, though, Steve. You know, if Carey Price is a big enough name, uh, you know, and also a good goalie gives you a chance to win games. 33 years old, so you you got to imagine. And he, I mean, if he, if he continues to what he did in the playoffs, forget about it. Like, you got him for at least five more years that he's going to be a solid goaltender. That's not bad, that, because that's enough time to basically groom his replacement. 100%. Yeah, so that's uh, because some people are like, "Hey, what about the draft?" And typically in the draft, you don't you get your star goalie right away. It's it happens, but it's very rare. Usually, you get a goalie and you let him kind of work his way up through the minor leagues, and then after a few years, he's ready to go. So that would be perfect. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Well, like you said, it's very very exciting. I it, it's almost hard to be disappointed with whatever we end up with. There's gonna be a lot of second guessing, though. Yeah. By Steve. <laughs> no, honestly, like, even if they don't get Carey Price, I'm not going to be like, oh, I, I'd be mad. I just, I don't know how you pass up that opportunity, but I could understand they know more than me. Yeah, 10 million, <laughs> 10 million is a lot of money. Isn't it? <laughs> I, oh, they do. I mean, I think Ron Francis got the job you by think? saying, I know more than Steve. Wow, it'd be one, you think Ron Francis is like, I don't know, maybe I don't know more than Steve. I mean, he might be having a hard a, time with it right a now. one sentence resume. Yeah, <laughs> I know more than Steve. Oh, you're, you're hired. Yeah, easy. You and everyone yeah. else. Todd Lywicki's like, all right, sure. All right, we, we, we weren't going to go for you, Ron, but you know more than Steve. Come on in. <laughs> you signed the paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday, Steve did get this one right, though. What U.S. road sign is typically shaped like a triangle? Yield. Yes. You <laughs> great Pearl Jam record. All right. So, I mean, after that great answer, I don't know. Does Ron Francis know more than Steve? Probably not about his Pearl Jam. I bet he doesn't. Yeah. Oh, gosh, right. I'm going to go head to head with him on that. I think the Kraken need to get another consultant before they really start making these choices. I really think they need to consult a certain Steve. I'll be their Pearl Jam con and Yield sign consultant. There you go. Well, that's a, everybody needs one of those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Call in now if you want a shot at beating Steve. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs at 651.
on The Rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. Thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. When we think about the COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy in the black community, let's remember, it didn't happen by chance. It's justified in history. But the will to change the narrative is strong today, and our people are lending their voices to the conversation. We're sharing our stories and the reasons that made us choose the vaccine so we can lead the way for others to make a well-informed choice, too. To hear our stories, visit hereforuswa.org. Kickstart summer at Lowe's with Memorial Day savings on major appliances like the Smart Whirlpool Top Load Washer featuring the two-in-one removable agitator and a color you'll only find at Lowe's. Take it out for bulky items, leave it in for a more thorough clean. You can customize any load, plus skip steps with the load and go dispenser. Simply add detergent once and skip the refills. Memorial Day savings start now at Lowe's. Shop in-store or online today.